Hi, this is George Cow, and welcome back to the LinkedIn training. So in uh, the previous uh, videos, we have been going over this part of the mind map, setting up an optimized LinkedIn profile so that some of the 300 million members on LinkedIn who are looking for someone like you uh, to help them with a problem in their life, their business, etc., whatever you help people with, can find you. So uh, let me make this mind map a little bigger. And we've been filling out your LinkedIn profile, right, optimizing it. And we've already gone over the professional headline, which is the most important part of your LinkedIn profile. We've gone over the sort of job positions areas that you should be filling out, which is the second most part, important part of your LinkedIn profile. And then we've also talked about the summary section. And we've also talked about using principles of good web copy. So now let's kind of finish up as many of these as we can. Um, the more keywords that uh, you put in your LinkedIn profile, especially in the summary and job titles, the more you'll be found. I think I've mentioned that before, but I wanted to repeat that. And keywords are basically, what are keywords? Um, this bears uh, repeating and, and, and explaining. Keywords are, imagine this, your ideal client is on Google and they're typing in looking for someone like you. They're typing in the solution to a problem, or they're maybe they're typing in the problem that they have. What they're typing into Google is called, or whatever search engine, the LinkedIn search engine as well, is called a keyword. A keyword can be either a word or a phrase, okay? Um, you know, the, the word, uh, whatever, any, any word, LinkedIn is a keyword. LinkedIn profile is also a keyword. LinkedIn profile, especially in the summary and job titles, that's also called a keyword. So keyword is not just one word, it can be a phrase as well. So again, imagine, let's say you are a relationship coach and someone is typing into, you know, their, uh, the Google search engine, fix my marriage. Okay. Okay. That's a keyword. Even though it's a phrase, it's a keyword. Uh, let's say you help people with a chronic illness and you particularly help them deal with the uh, emotional side of their chronic illness. Um, maybe they're dealing with um, some depression about about their illness. Maybe maybe they're dealing with the question of, you know, um, will uh, you know will how do I apply for jobs as a as a person with chronic illness? Will my will the potential employer say no, etc. So in in the in Google search engine they might be searching um, job searching as a chronic illness. Uh, with a chronic illness or whatever it may be. So I, I don't know what the keywords are for your uh, market, but what those are, and you know, this takes talking to your prospective clients and clients, and as you listen to the language they're using with you, you might even ask them, hey, when you're, if you're looking for someone like me in, in the Google search engine, what would you type in? And you, know, you took three minutes with a client or prospective client to ask that. That could be amazingly helpful information. So make sure as many of those words and phrases are in your LinkedIn profile as possible. Um, you know, let it, let it flow, let it be natural. You know, don't be, you know, don't be listing a whole list of keywords kind of out of context, but just let it flow, let it be natural, and you're more likely to be found on LinkedIn and in Google as a result. Okay, be sure to fill out your, fill out your skills in the endorsement section of your profile. This is also important, and this provides what's called social proof, meaning people who come to your profile say, gosh, you know, this person is credible. So let's actually look at, let's go to LinkedIn.com right now and, and I'll show you what I mean by the endorsements and skills area. So I, I went to profile, I clicked on edit profile and now I'm here and scroll down and notice that I've put my skills and endorsements at the top. The reason is because I've been on LinkedIn for a long time and so I've gotten a lot of endorsements from a lot of my connections about all these different skills more than 99 in all of these different skills you're just getting started probably and so you're probably only gonna you might not have any endorsements yet or you might just have one or two that's okay just keep being visible on LinkedIn and you will get a bunch of endorsements like this first I want to show you something when you go to your LinkedIn profile it's probably the skills and endorsement section is probably not going to be at the top What's probably going to be at the top is the summary section, okay? And so you can move your, you know, once you get your skills and endorsements to a level where you're kind of proud of what it says here, it doesn't have to be 99, it can just be 10 or 12 or whatever, that's fine. Um, to move things around on your profile, 
let's say I want to move summary back up. Notice when I when I'm in the again I'm in profile, I'm in edit profile, okay? And then whenever I move my mouse, you see you could I can edit all these different things. I'm gonna scroll down and notice whenever I scroll down to a section that can be moved this thing pops up. This thing it allows me to move things around. So for example, if I want to move summary back up, I would go like this and I would just keep moving it until I can drop it above the section that I want it to be above. But again, I want my skills and endorsements to be at the top because it looks impressive, so I'm, I'm moving it back up to the top. Okay? And in terms of skills and endorsements, when you hover over this, you can add skill. Okay, you can add skill. Um, and when you add a skill, when you're in the add skill dialog, it says, do I want to be endorsed? Please put yes, because otherwise your connections cannot click yes, you know, so and so is good at that. Okay. Um, include me in endorsement suggestions. Yes. Show me suggestions to endorse my connection. Yes. As you endorse other people, they will oftentimes return the favor. Send me notifications when connections endorse me. That's up to you. I mean, you'll start getting a bunch of emails like this as you start adding connections, and that might be too much email, so you can make a decision. If you somehow want to thank people as they endorse you, that's okay too, uh, but you'll want to receive email if you, if you want to do that. So um, here we are in the add and remove section. Whether the areas, you can put up, last I checked, you can put up to 50. Um, and you can reorder them, by the way. You can, you can drag and reorder them. So let's say I want to be endorsed more for my LinkedIn stuff. I'll just drag it up here. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't look so good that it's four of them. <laughs> you know, hopefully some of you will endorse me for it. But um, it's it's basically I I hadn't added LinkedIn to my skills, and what happens is that LinkedIn will automatically take my profile keywords and they'll start suggesting to my connections, hey, is George good at LinkedIn? Or maybe my connections will automatically type in, yes, George is good at LinkedIn. Maybe four people did that. And so um, you'll want to be proactive in what kind of skills you want to be endorsed for. These are keywords as well. These are keywords as well. So again, it doesn't have to be just one word. It can be a whole phrase. So think about that. And the way to find out what, key, what skills you want to be endorsed by is look up your competitors or your niche mates on LinkedIn and go to their profile and see what they're being endorsed by or see what keywords tend to show up on their profile as you read it. And those are some of the skills that you want to be endorsed for. So when you're done typing in skills, and as you're typing in something, let's just say I'm a health coach, I want to start putting in health um, coaching. See, if it's not a popular skill, LinkedIn won't make that suggestion. You can still add it though. You can, you can still add it. You can ask your friends to please go to your profile and endorse you for health coaching if they believe that that's one of your skills. I'll just, I'm just using that as an example. But as you type in something, LinkedIn will give you a bunch of skills that are popular. Now you can definitely add the ones that are popular, but please also add ones that you want to show up on your profile. Okay? All right. And when you're done with that, you can click save. And you can always manage these later. See, you can just manage endorsements. Um, and entrepreneurs, people have 500 people have. have. And uh, you basically is asking which connections do you want to show their endorsements? And of course, you know, I would say show all is, is good. Um, okay, and you can also remove them by uh, in the add and remove area. Uh, George also knows about. It. Okay, so let's go back and. Um, I've already talked about moving the sections of your profile that you want to highlight first. And, uh, you know, um, next time in the next video, I'm going to talk about and finish up these other sections of the mind map. So I hope this has been helpful. And most importantly, please take action on this stuff and comment on this module, on this lecture. You know, there, um, what, if you're watching this on, on YouTube, there's a comment below. If you're watching this on Udemy, there's a comment to the right. Please let me know. Uh, what skills you've added to your profile and you know comment so that other people who are taking this course can give you feedback on it um, so uh, you can give the link to your LinkedIn profile in the comments area please don't just give a link but say more try to tell people hey I've added this I've added this hope it's helpful for all of you be helpful in your comments rather than be promotional okay and also help other people look at what other people are saying and give them a thumbs up or um, you know con congratulate them on, on making those changes and if you have any feedback on their profile you might want to suggest that as well let this become a community where you can build your reputation as a helpful person and also start to make connections on LinkedIn from this community uh, this course community as well so I'll see you in the next uh, lecture I'm looking forward to see uh, to hearing your progress on LinkedIn